Hi, I'm Colin with Blue Marble Consulting, and in this video I'm going to demonstrate how you can use SAP's S4 HANA Simple Finance to create a promise to pay from overdue receivables. We'll start from the home screen of the Fiori Launchpad, and from here we can see a variety of different tiles. All of these can be customized to the user's needs. As a value-added reseller of S4 HANA Simple Finance, Blue Marble Consulting can help cater to these needs and develop an appropriate cockpit for individual users. So now once we're in this screen, we'll take a look at our overdue receivables tile that we see right here. And we'll click down and we'll see our overdue receivables for certain date ranges. So here we can see that they are broken up into two ranges. Here are our overdue receivables that are past 90 days overdue. And then we have our list that are from 61 days to 90 days. What I can do from here is narrow down the results and filter down to the top 10 customers who owe us money. So to do that, all we need to do is click on one of these columns. We'll click on the 61 to 90 day column here. And then we can filter this by customer for the top 10 receivables. Then this will give us a graph of the top 10 customers and the amounts that they owe. So I can click X to X out of here. We can see that customer domestic 02 owes us an equal amount to domestic 09. So these two are the two highest owed customers. From here we can click on these bars again to do a variety of different things. We can drill down and take a look at by due period for these customers. But what we can also do is display master data for these customers. We can clear incoming payments. We can display their balances, which we can already see right here. Post incoming payments and then process receivables. So to create a promise to pay, I'll click on process receivables and we'll be presented with an entire list of everything that we are owed by this particular customer. So now we can see all of these different individual documents and the amounts that we are owed by this particular customer. So to create a promise to pay, all we need to do is click on one of these items. I'll click on the second one because we can see that it says that there's no promise made right now. This one above it currently has a promise to pay as indicated by this open. So I'll click on this checkbox for the second document. And from there, we can just click on create promise. And the amount that was owed from that line item is automatically brought into this box. You'll enter in the name of the user that is creating this promise to pay. And you can also enter in a note. In addition, you can also attach documents if needed. So from here, we'll just click OK. And then we'll see that this particular line item will show that it has been promised to pay. And there's that $36 for this same document showing that we now have this promise to pay. So what I just did was show the simplified process of creating a promise to pay by first looking at our overdue receivables and then looking at the receivables by the top 10 customers and then drilling down to all the current overdue receivables by this customer and then creating a promise to pay for one of those receivables. For more information on how Blue Marble Consulting can implement a solution like this for you, please call one of our numbers listed here. And to see a comprehensive list of all the different applications available for Fiori, please visit our website at sap.